subscribe to this channel. Welcome to the Underestimated Voices podcast, where we amplify the unheard and empower the underestimated. Join us as we unveil inspiring stories, shed light on critical issues, and give these voices the platform they truly deserve. It's time to let their brilliance shine. Hello, my beautiful people. Hope you're all doing great. Welcome back to the Underestimated Voices podcast, a podcast that is aimed at helping you to overcome the feelings of unwantedness or feeling unworthy. We are here to help you transform your lives and look at underestimation as a blessing. I am your host, Watson, and it always gives me joy whenever I hear feedback from you. I love how committed you are to getting things done. Or just a simple greeting like this. Hi, Watson. Welcome to today's episode as we're going to look at um, strength in adversity. We shall look deep into a powerful topic that resonates with so many of us. Overcoming pain and adversity as a young person. You know, as young people, we often face challenges that can shake our faith and test our resolve. But within those trials lies an incredible opportunity for growth and transformation. So join me as I explore the ways to rise above the ridicule, the laughter, and the moments of doubt and discover the strength that comes from trusting in God's unwaveringly love, whether you are in the midst of a storm or know someone who is. This episode is for you, Mundwang. Let's embark on this journey and uncover the light that shines within the darkest times. So, my brother, my sister, from the depth of my heart, I want to reach out to you today. I know that life can bring painful moments. I know that life can bring painful moments that feel overwhelming. Times when people might ridicule you, mock you, or underestimate you. You know, there are those moments in life where you are a staunch Christian. You pray, you praise God, you do all sorts of things, you sweep, but you find that you are unemployed, you're broke, but you are always found in church, and people have even called you a church mouse. And even others, they would even tell you, why do you even worship God? Because your life is so miserable and no one can even admire you. I know it's easy to feel hurt by these words and actions. But I want you to know that their opinions reflect more about them than they do about you. And anger. When faced with negativity, take a deep breath and let it go. Let it go. Don't take it to heart. Forgiveness, I know it's the most hardest thing, but forgive them, not for their sake, but for yours. Your peace of mind is more important. Release the burden they place on you and ask yourself this crucial question. What is it that they have that God can fail to give you? What can he, God, can't provide for me? What can God fail to give you? God is the creator of all things. Whether you're a Christian, Muslim, or any other religion, one thing that you should know is that God is a creator of all things, and his love and grace are boundless. Trust in his abilities, Munduang, to change your story. I remember the first two years when I got married. I don't know if it's an African thing or something like that. People expect you to have kids there and then. I spent the first two years of my marriage, I didn't have a child, tried everything, even to a point where the doctor says, if you're going to have kids, it will be by God's grace. The laughter, the mockery, it got to us, but we trusted God that one day he shall give us a child. Until the third year of our marriage, when we received kids and more kids came 
after that you might be going through a phase in life that is so painful you find that all your friends are married all your mates are waking and to make things worse you are just home unemployed you are not married and the mockery just rains on you day in day out you need to trust in god's ability to change your story the moment of pain is just a season in your journey hold on to your faith for it is these challenging times that our strength is forged kapitam zobawa there's always a saying that what can kill you will make you stronger you just need to find a way to focus on god and keep your mind on him remember the powerful promise in isaiah 10 verse 27 you can um, read it up it assures us that the burdens we carry will be lifted let this verse be a source of comfort and courage into your heart you are not alone in this battle god is with you he will not forsake you keep believing keep hoping and keep pressing forward together let's embrace the journey knowing that brighter days are ahead stay strong and never forget don't give up on god because god will never give up on you you are the apple of his eye according to the bible keep your faith be strong mundwanga and as i always say be you do you and mind your own business mundwanga nika face je it will pass hope you got encouraged and hope you will encourage someone please share this episode and don't forget to follow us on our socials it's under smited voices podcast and leave your comment so that we know how this message has impacted your life or someone that you might know may god bless you i've been your host whitson thank you so much stay blessed thank you for tuning in to the underestimated voices podcast where a single voice can ignite a resolution keep listening sharing and amplifying these underestimated voices together let's create a symphony of stories that resonates across the globe stay inspired stay curious and join us next time for more incredible narratives until then keep listening and let your voice be heard